Welcome to the weekly roundup. Uh, Div one time. I'm here with Scotty Dyer from Hope Valley Footy Club. Scotty, how are you, mate? Good, Nazi. How are you? Yeah, pretty good, mate. Pretty good. Been keeping well. Been keeping very well. It's Div one time, mate. The uh, the ultimate of amateur footy division one. Yeah. And uh, we're going to kick it straight off to uh, a couple of old rivals, I suppose you could say. And it was Ross Trevor, 18-8-116, defeating Henley, 9-13-67. Rocks didn't even kick a goal in the first quarter, no. mate. You know, four behinds yeah. to two goals six. So, you know, Henley had their opportunities early and then Rocks have just gone, you know, not even, weren't even up at half time. Two goals down at half time and then after that nine goal third quarter. That's the premiership quarter. And then a nine goal second quarter and fourth quarter. Just said, you know, sorry boys, we're here to play footy. They so. have to be happy with their position being six and zero oh and, and not playing at their home ground, they're playing yes. at Thebby, and, Thebby, yep. and that's where their grand final is going to be, so you know, they're in a really good position. Yeah, they're in they? a really good position, aren't they? So, um, For Ross Trevor, Heath Kamane with six, Fantasia with three, Code and Pisani kicking two, a few other blokes kicking singles with Holm, Nelligan and O'Malley in the best. For Rocks, mate, and for Henley? Henley, Grosser with three, Jessen with two, uh, singles, uh, three other single goal kickers yep. there, uh, Highland, Gray, and John Cock in the best for the Sharks. For the Sharks, so um, a bit of work to do there at Henley. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, just, you know, they've been, they've been travelling okay, yeah. but um, just sitting out the five. Just sitting out the five, but uh, need to get some of them guns like Ebert and Bubbles and them firing, so. Moving on, next game uh, down at Large Reserve. I drove past here on Saturday and saw this game in its um, in action. I bring my daughter off to a birthday party, which is good fun for me. So anyway, it was uh, Port District 10-7-67, defeating Goodwood Saints 5-9-39, mate. So for Districts, uh, Scotty? Districts, uh, Foster with four, Batty with two, Clark with two, and two other singles. Yep. Uh, Foster... McInerney and Hales were best for Port Districts. And for Goodwood, we had Byrne with two and three other blokes kicking singles with Stanton, Brooks and Carter. Good to see Brooksy back in the best after uh, going nine eyes there a few weeks ago when he got king hit. So, anyway. Next game, mate. Payne, where you've been doing a little bit of umpiring. Yeah, a bit of umpiring for their uh, C6 side. Uh, the boys are... Uh, you know, enjoying that? Yeah, I am enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, good. I get, get plenty of advice on a Saturday afternoon. No, good. no doubt yeah. you do. Yeah. TJ still running around? Uh, I wouldn't say running, but no. yeah, he, he puts the Guernsey on every now and then. And he's a bit Guernsey. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. talk these days, but um, the great man. We, uh, he uh, tends to make a cameo when they're playing the, 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 the lower rank sides. Oh, of course yeah. he would. Yeah, because yeah. it's all TJ time. You know? <laughs> anyway, it was uh, Fox, the Fox paying him 18, 16, 124. Absolutely pumping Nord, um, pumping Modbury, 3 goals, 7, 25. For Paynham, mate. Yeah, for Paynham, Forster with six, yep. uh, Wagner with five. The rest were all singles. <laughs> uh, There's about eight or nine single yep. goal kickers there. Good spread. Um, Wagner, Seymour, and uh, Allegio. Allegio. Yep. In the and, best for the Falcons. And for um, for the Hawks for Mobbery, it was McNaughton with two, Matty Gibson kicking one as well, with Hoffmeyer, Fogden, and Bowman in the best now. What's going on at Mobbury? They, they, they lost a lot of top end talent. Yep. Uh, a few went up to the Hills League, a few to uh, other country clubs. Um, you know, the new coach is, is doing the best he can. Tony Painter. Got yep. Tony Painter. Yep. Um, but yeah, I think yeah they're going to find themselves going back down to Division Two. No worries. All right. Moving on then. It was Tetri Gully Petri Grove. Tetri Gully. The uh, the Tetri Gully machine continues to move forward. It was Tetri Gully 23 14, 152, defeating. Athelstan, 9 8, 62 a margin of 90 points. Uh, open quarter probably says it all, really. 7-2 to 2-1. Yeah, it does. I've got a bit of feedback this game. Okay. Like my father-in-law was there watching, and uh, yep. he said, you yeah, know, the gullies jumped out the blocks, uh, but then they sort of got a bit complacent. Athelstan kicked themselves back into it. Um, got within three goals at half-time, but yep. then after that it was it was all one-way traffic. It was all one-way traffic. Six uh, goals, was it six goals four to one goal five? Last, yeah. yeah and Twelve then... goals to one in the second half, so all, all one-way traffic for the gullies. Um, Troy Menzel with five. Yep. Um, Hope Valley boy Pete Personos with five, yep. uh, Tiggerman with five. That's you know three, fifteen goals to three blokes. Not, not bad, yeah. not bad. Shell Makers with two, Latham with two, and uh, four other singles there. Uh, Pete Personos killing it, best on Troy Menzel. Uh, you know he doesn't go in for the hard ball, but he uh, he's, he's got skills to burn, and yep. he just got that polish. Um, he hits every target. 
and Dylan Shaw make his uh, third best for the gullies. And for the raggies, you got Stuart with three, Lukey Randa with two, a few other blokes kicking singles with Jade Shetty and Luke Randa and Rogers in the best. So Atherston just struggling along there a little bit. They're, they're finding the jump a little bit too much yeah. too. Um, yeah. You know, sitting there second bottom with Mobbery sitting bottom. So yeah. um, you know, let's hope they can get it together and. Uh, do all right. But, um, next game, this would have been an absolute rip snorter. It was Adelaide Uni, 10 goals, 9.69, defeating Prince Alfred, 9.9.63. Mousy's boys by a goal. Um, Uni Oval, Saturday afternoon. Couldn't ask for a bit of place, really. Great nice place, place, yeah. I was, you know? I was on board just up the road at Pole oh, yeah. 9. And yep. the, yeah, the siren was putting us off. We, we stopped our game a couple of times because we heard the, the wrong siren. Oh, the but, wrong uh, siren. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it would have been would have been a great game, as you can tell by the scores. And yeah. the kick in at the end of the day um, for Uni. Language with four. Crouch with two, yep. who, who tore us up in the C5 Grand Final last year. Now he's playing A grade. A grade, um, yeah. I won't say much more about that. Uh, and, and, and then the rest were all single goal kickers. Yeah. Uh, Langridge, Clark and Adams in the best for uni. And for Prince Alfred, we had Bartlett with three, Gratz with two, a few other blokes kicking singles with Clayfield, Latchford and Pritchard. Um, we'll quickly have a quick look at the ladder in yes. Div 1. Yep. Okay, you've got Ross Trevor sitting top there, six and zip. Adelaide Yee second there, five and one. Tetra Gully, four and one after six rounds. Districts, Paynham, Henley, all sitting there at three and three with Goody Saints and um, Prince Alfred, yep. Athelston and Mobbery. Yep. Prince Alfred, the one for me, I just thought they would have been a little bit better off yeah. um, at this time of year. Uh, I haven't spoken to Mouse for a while, but um, I might flick him a text a bit later on tonight. Um, you know, Tea Tree Gully and um, Goody Saints, they had the draw. So, top five, you know, Henley, yeah. it's just... It's tight. It's it tight. Is tight. It's, it's, hard. it's hard to ju- hard to call at this stage. Yeah. You know, paint could be Port District, Paynham, Henley, Goody Saints. Yeah. Prince Albert, if they get going, any one of those sides could could scrape into fourth or fifth by the end of the year. So you know, Atherston and Mobbery look to be the sides that are certainly struggling. Yeah. So um, yeah, Mobbery probably looking at Div Two again next yes. year. So yeah. anyway, we'll move on to this week's games and um, Henley and Atherston are at Henley Memorial Oval. Um, look, uh, Grand Final. From no, it's not the grand final. From that, who's Atherston playing? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. I, thought, I thought that was the case. Yeah, um, grand final replay. And I reckon Atherston knocked them off in the second semi out there yep. last year. Um, really good win. They were down at half time, I believe. Um, yeah, look, Atherston, like we said before, they found the jump pretty yeah. tough. Yeah. Um, Henley normally good at home, and I reckon yeah, the Sharks will probably get the job done there. Yeah, the Sharks are good. Just a bit too much class there for me with the Sharks. I think they'll. Um, They'll, they'll get the job done at home. Uh, large Reserve Port District taking on Rocks. It's hard to to back against Rocks at the moment. Yep. You know they're, they're, they're six and zero. Um, large Reserve, yeah, might be a bit hard, a bit harder for them. District's a bit up and about, but I think the Rocks, you have to get back. The Rock train will just continue yeah. to move along nicely. Myself, Mobbery and Goody Saints. Um, Might be a bad game this one up in Yeah, Mulberry. yeah. What's Mulberry Oval like these days? I'm playing it. Um, they had they had a bit of work done on it. it was it was used to be very very, very muddy, muddy like yeah, a lot yeah. of ovals were. Yep. Um, yeah. You know, and they, they, again, they got a lot of juniors, so there's a lot of teams training on it and playing on it. Um, yeah, it's hard. Goody Saints probably just a bit too good for this yeah, one. I think. Goody Saints for me as well. Uh, Park Nine, one of the best places to play footy. Not um, <laughs> Prince Alfred taking on Paynham. Um, yeah. Um, I reckon Macca and Rexy will get the boys up for this yep. one. Um, the you know the facilities aren't the best. The actual oval itself is not too not bad. bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. I reckon I reckon the Falcons might get this one done. Falcons for me as well. And uh, last but certainly not least, match of the round: Adelaide Uni taking on Tetri Gully. Two v three. Yeah. Um, Uni oval. Uni oval. Um, I just. I reckon the Gullies might just get the job done. Get the Gullies? Yeah, I think they might. They'll be, they'll be desperate to get that second spot and, and keep it. Um, yeah, Gullies for me at, at uni. Gullies for me as well. I reckon Cam Sandico will get best around. There you go. I'm there throwing you go. it out there. So, anyway, that's been Division 1. Thanks for joining us tonight, Scotty. Thanks it's been an absolute me. pleasure. We'll see you all again next week. Cheers.